Good afternoon. Um, I understand that you know, the schedule is not exactly what is printed, but we're good, we're flexible, we're here, uh, and thank you all for being here. Let, let me start with something you may have already that began began probably mentioned it earlier. But the whole question of why is the Navy focused on energy? Um, you know, there are a lot of other things that, that people think of with the Department of Navy and of the energy is the first thing that comes to most people's mind. So why is this a big deal for us? There are a number of reasons and they're all incredibly persuasive and critical. First of all, tactically. Um, we are enormously vulnerable in our operations for the fuel supplies that we need in there. The fuel convoys are expensive to move, but even more than that, they are, are those who drive across those who guard the convoys are vulnerable to attack. The statistics are something like for every 24 fuel convoys, there's one U.S. service member killed or wounded. Um, very a horrible um, vulnerability that we have. In addition, we have international vulnerability, um, the geopolitical issues that people are all aware of, the cost of oil being um, controlled, being totally outside of our control. Um, in addition, there's the cost. Right now, I think everybody understands that the government along with the rest of the government, is looking for ways to control the cost. And think about it this way, for every $40 increase in the barrel of oil, the cost of the property $30 million a year. Um, their money makes a big difference. We're looking for ways of not having to face that. So what are we doing then? That's why we're doing it. What are we doing? Well, the Secretary of the Navy, Scott pointed out, has a passion for energy, for energy efficiency for energy um, independence. And so he just said, fine, very aggressive And they are both, they are here in the near term towards immediate reduction in our fossil fuels, replacing fossil fuels with alternative energy sources, with renewables, with energy efficiency. In the longer term, he has a goal that will move us towards more efficient How our energy using equipment and platforms, we will consider energy a little different. Now, how big deal is this? What's the context? Well, the federal government uses about 2% of all the coal being used in the United States. Um, the Department of Defense uses about 93% of all the federal government and of the coal use. And the Department of Navy uses about a third of that. So we're talking about 30 million barrels of petroleum a year. Big number. Another thing to think about is that about 75% of that is used in operations. It's used in ships, planes, tactical vehicles. Only about 25% is used in shore on our bases, on our installations, in trucks, cars, barracks, hangars, you know, the actual shore business. So when you think about what we can do about energy, we have to think about both the part that we are more familiar with, the shore part, as well as the operational uses. All right, so that's the why, that's the what, but then probably the most interesting is the how. How are we going to be tuned in this amount of energy? We have three initiatives and three of the pockets. We have demand reduction, we have supply increases, and we have the annual change. Um, the demand reductions are efficiency technologies, many of which I'm looking around this room are represented here. We need to be more efficient in what we do. Our buildings are going, new buildings are going to be lead silver certified, which is the standard today, to a lead gold certified is our, is our use of so we want our fuel to be efficient. We want our ships to be efficient. We're looking at 
I will brush it for him. All clothing to make sure it's covered in the water using less less energy. So demand reduction is our first step uh, along the way. But fundamentally, we're also looking at supply, different kinds of supply alternative fuel and renewable um, on all of our bases, and there are other Navy and Marine bases around the world. Each one of them offers different opportunities for renewable energy. Um, and we're looking at solar, wind, geothermal, waste energy, ocean thermal, anything that we can find on these different bases. One of the challenges from um, the Secretary Davis' goal is to have half of our bases, there's about 50 bases, zero net energy by 2020. Reduce the point of failure. Not that you can imagine an easy goal to, to even envision. So we're working on every day looking for how we get there. But what about our ships and planes? Are you so on there? When So what, what do I 
Thank you. 